thing, I guess, is, you know, it's a method of investing and its purpose is to achieve social or environmental outcomes. And so some of the characteristics are, first of all, it has to be intentional, the social or environmental impact. It can't just be incidental. You can't just make an investment in a company and it, it happens to, you know, for example, sell medicine somewhere and, and make a profit and say, oh, well, I'm doing good for the world. The purpose of impact investing is that from the outset, you intend to, to generate social or environmental benefit and that it's measurable. Um, the second one is that there's a return expectation. Um, at the very minimum, an expectation that you'll get your money back, but usually an expectation that you'll also get um, a benefit as in some interest, um, a financial return on your investment. And that can range from sort of, um, sort of quasi market rates to like full risk adjusted market returns on your investments. Um, and then another characteristic is that there's a whole range of different asset classes and, and return expectations from impact investing. So, you know, it's all the traditional forms of finance from, you know, private equity to different forms of loans, um, guarantees, cash, you know, all the different investment types can, can be forms of impact investment. And of course, it happens, you know, in all countries across the world, it's not just in less developed or emerging markets, it's uh, in, in, in all countries, there's opportunities for impact investment. But I, I really do think this is a generational phenomenon. Um, and, you know, as the transfer of wealth happens, you know, over the, over the coming years and decades, um, that is definitely going to change. Um, uh, as an example, I met with the chairman of, of, of a very large bank um, to discuss impact investing. And um, he was an older fellow who's, who's just retiring. Um, he, was, he was actually quite knowledgeable on the topic of impact investing, um, but he told me he doesn't believe in it. You know, he, he basically said, look, I, I believe in, in markets and, and investing, the purpose of investing is to maximize your financial return and that shouldn't be compromised. Um, and I believe in philanthropy and, um, it, and I don't want to compromise my fin philanthropy with financial considerations. Um, and for him, those are two very separate worlds. But, you know, when I talk to millennials and Gen Z, you know, they very much understand that every decision they make in life has an impact. Um, and I think intuitively understand that, that finance is an important tool for living out our values. Um, whereas not too many baby boomers see the world in this way. So I'm really excited for the future because I think Gen Z and future generations are wired for impact. Just in terms of getting involved,